hamlet belonging to Santa Cesta da Terme boasts very ancient origins, dating back to the Iron Age. Situated on the road which linked Vaste with Castro, it has always been the crossroad of the rural settlements of the area. At the entrance of the village, you can find a well-known cisternale, a pond carved into the rock, probably dating back to the Iron Age, which supplied water to the rural settlements of the surroundings. In the historical center of Vitigliano, you can find the main church, built in 1726, dedicated to Saint Michael the Archangel. A few dozen meters from the main church, one finds the chapel of San Rocco, which contains the statue of the co-patron saint, whose feast day is celebrated in Vitigliano on August 21st and 22nd. Saint Luigi Gonzaga is conversely celebrated on June 21st. For the occasion, the statue of the saint is carried in a solemn procession and is welcomed by the faithful with decorations constructed from palm leaves. The feast of Saint Luigi is very important because it marks the end of spring and the beginning of summer. In the urban architecture of the ancient village, you can easily find the facade of Chullo Palace, an example of noble Salentinian architecture. Alongside the entrance to the palace, you can find a small oratory dedicated to Mary Immaculate, embellished by a belfry placed at the top of the building. Gargasole Palace is the cultural center of Santa Cesare Terme. The noble building houses the Museum of Cloaks and Civic Towers. In its rooms you can admire the cloaks and timing mechanisms once placed on the municipal towers of Santa Cesare Terme, Vitigliano and Cerfignano. In addition, it is possible to visit the permanent exhibition dedicated to ancient fossils. It is an interesting collection where you can admire different minerals and fossil remains of ancient marine organisms found inside Salentina stones which have encased these magnificent jewels. The Maria Santissima Dolorata Church stands near the Calvary. This is a building linked to the confraternity of the same name in Vitigliano and completely constructed from Carparo and Leccese limestone. Vitigliano is able to combine the ancient and the modern. It is fascinating to walk through the streets of the small historical center or along the dirt roads that cross the dry stone walls, where the smells and colors of the land bring to mind Salento's history.